This is problem 19 of 2015 AMC 12B. In triangle ABC, angle C is 90. So let's let's start by drawing this right away. If I can, if I can draw it correctly. So A B C, and you have you know C is 90 degrees. A B is 12, and square is A B X Y and A C W Z are constructed outside the triangle. So let's construct the squares. Uh, that's a bit of squished square. Let's move this triangle further down so I can I can draw this somewhat somewhat to scale. So let's erase this, copy this. Let's go down a bit, and we can draw a square, A B X Y. So A B X Y and A C W Z and A C W Z like this. A C W Z. Okay, so and the points X, Y, Z, and W lie on a circle. So we can draw a circle that goes through this point, this point, this point, and this point. So let's draw an imaginary circle that goes through all of this point. So maybe, maybe something like this. Okay, what is the parameter of the triangle ABC? So you want to find parameter of this triangle, the first triangle that we started with. Okay, let's start by labeling some sides. Let's call this side B because it's opposite angle B, and let's call this side A. And we, you want to find A plus B plus 12 or the parameter of the triangle. Anything we realize about A and B, we should write down. You know, A squared plus B squared is 12 squared or 144 by Pythagorean theorem. And what else can we figure out? You know, these four points, you know, these four points lie on a circle, so you know, you can draw this yzwx quadrilateral that's cyclic why this not maybe not trapezoid but trapezoid looking quadrilateral yzwx and this thing is a cyclic quadrilateral and there are many many properties of cyclic quadrilaterals but uh, one that may be most explicit or one that's most well taught is that the opposite angles add up to 180 degrees so you know this angle plus this angle is going to be 180. So what can we deduce from that? Since this thing is 90, you know this angle plus this angle is 90 degrees. But what do you know? You know this angle plus this angle is 90 degrees. And that's telling you, that's telling you equality, that's telling you equality of this angle and this angle. They have the same value. Let's call, we can call it alpha. So these two have the same value because they are both they are both complementary to this angle. Their values has to be the same. And you, we can use similar logic. Now let's look at this angle and this angle. They, they have to add up to 180. And since this thing is 90, you know this angle and this angle has to add up to 90. And since this angle and this angle add up to 90, you know, you know this angle, let's call it, let's call it beta. This angle beta is equal to this angle beta. So we have we have a similar triangle. Maybe you maybe you see it. So you have a similar triangle right here and right here. So these two are similar triangles. So we can compare their side lengths. This is this side length is a plus b, and you can divide it by the corresponding side, which is which is 12. This side is 12. Let me write it explicitly. This side is 12, so divided by 12 is equal to this side, which is also 12, divided by this side, which is B. So you have A plus B times B is equal to 12 squared or 144, also known as A, B plus B squared is 144. But what else do we know to be equal to 144? A squared plus B squared. So you know A squared plus B squared has to equal to A plus B, A, B plus B squared, which is 144. B squares cancel out, dividing by A gets you A is equal to B. So you know the size of this, this right triangle are the same. So this is 45, 45, 90 triangle. So the triangle looks like this, 90, 45, 45, and you have 12. So we can find the side lengths by dividing by square root of 2. So that's 6 times square root of 2, and this thing is also 6 times square root of 2. So the parameter of this triangle is 6 times square root of 2 plus 6 times square root of 2 plus 12, or 12 times square root of 2 plus 12. And which one of that, which one of our answer choices is that? That's C.